Good morning, friends. It's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively. I am here on a lovely Wednesday morning. It's beautiful in the woods. The leaves are changing. I can see outside my window like every day it's different, which is crazy. Every day. It just looks so pretty. I, um, Okay, now wait a minute, let me get rid of this, I can't see you. Okay, or I can't see what I'm doing. It's so pretty, it's gonna rain today. The wind's blowing so I can see all the leaves falling, which is just fantastic. Um, I don't know where you live, you're welcome to tell me because I'd always love to know where you are. But um, it's just, when I come home today, I'm gonna go stamp with my friends. Um, I stamp with my, at the Wonder Basement, with series cards and the wonder basement and we do that once a week that's always our goal and so um yeah i am going to wait why is it not all right excuse my arm reach it's taken off one of my cameras which is always fun because then all of a sudden i'm not there and i think i'm gonna be there i am hi friends so I, we get together and we create and we stamp and it's fantastic. So we're going to do that today and I'll, I won't be here, but when I come home, it'll just be so pretty. I have my pumpkin mug because it's getting very pumpkin-y. Um, my big pumpkins that my husband, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the huge pumpkins. He's got a 40 pound pumpkin. The smallest one's like 17 pounds and they grew in our front yard thanks to our dogs. So that was super fun. I have my, this is a chai tea. Oh, it's so good. I'm a tea drinker. Um, we drink tea at the Wonder Basement too. We eat, we drink, we do life together, we stamp, and we work on our businesses. So there's lots of things that we do, and we like every minute of it. So Stampin' Up's got a lot going on right now. Surprise. Um, but I'm going to show you a little bit of, of kind of what's happening so you know what's going on. And then I have some projects to show you, which we always love a good show and share, or I love a good show and share. I don't know if you guys like it as much as I do or not, but dude, I love a good show and share. Okay, so um, this I'm gonna show second. This I'm gonna show first. So the fitting florets are demonstrator orderable right now. Um, customers can order them as of November 1st, but if you join my team, there's a great team join special. Um, again, I have a lot of people in my downline and probably three quarters of them just order for the discount, which is not a bad thing. Oh gosh, we may have used this. I had team meetings Monday and Tuesday and they made these projects and this project I have here to show you. We get together once a month for create and celebrate. I've changed the name of my meetings because I want to create with you and I want to celebrate with you. They always bring me great ideas. We do a lot of show and share, but we worked with this yesterday. It has a set of holiday words that you can get while supplies last. These little swirl dots are why supplies last. And this designer series paper is while supplies last. These are going to be in the January to June um, catalog. So these you'll have for a little bit. These others are going to be while supplies last. So um, nobody complained yesterday when we made the cards. Here's the two stamp sets. I can zoom in a little bit on this, I guess, so you can kind of see, because I always hate holding it up. I'm never sure which gives you the best picture. Whoop, that just made me sick. So these words are really nice. I love when they use two fonts. It just looks so pretty. So these are the two stamp sets that we used. I created all Christmas and then let them switch it up. So here's one. It's got these great set of frames. If you did World Card Making Day, Corey Hancock and her daughter used this suite and they did some great projects too. This is another one. The I just this is the back side of the paper. So we only had to cut once. And these are those pretty gems. The gems are great. And then here's another Christmas one. The designer series paper has white berries and we made them red so they look like holly berries so everybody who was at my team meeting all made these projects and then we 
the beginning of October starts a new Stampin' Up! calendar year. So they all got birthday calendars because I thought these were great. I'm going to show you mine and then we're going to do some little some assembly required on a new one. I'm going to show you mine and then what I'm going to do with it. So it comes with this big book and it's much bigger than what you think. It's probably eight and a half by 11. It's a regular size book. It comes with two different card patterns and you get five of each of the card patterns or I'm sorry, six because that's number six. So you get each of the card designs. It has no stamping. It has the um, tear and tape. It has gems. It has um, dimensionals. So it put together really quickly. It's adhesived. These are adhesives and it, it went together really well. It's got some cute envelopes. Of course, got a little bling, a little beauty on the inside. So I put these projects together. Um, the front can be colored. If you like to color, you can go over. I can brighten up my leaves with a blend. It depends on who you're giving this to, whether you need to bling it or not. I mean, that's just moments of happiness, sitting down and doing a little coloring. Oh, that was, um, that was rude. This is dark parakeet and this is light petal pink. So you can just sit down and have some happy and color the front. And again, what I used was It has adhesive so I could put all these months in it. And then this is my family's birthday. This is for my father. And I'm going to take some of my paper pumpkin or my card kits, some of my paper pumpkin. Like Sheila's my sister. This is a perfect birthday card for her. This is Wyatt's birthday. This is a perfect birthday card for him. I'm going to put the envelopes in here, address them, and have stamps on them. My dad's 90, so all he has to do is sign them and pull them out. Over here, we have Maggie, which is my niece, and Baby Sloan, which is going to be one. Is this not the perfect card for Baby Sloan? It's in a Get Well kit that Stampin' Up! put together, but I love it um, for a little girl, too. And then Maggie, my niece, is not... A little girl so this also would be a perfect birthday card for her we have Brittany and Reed which is my daughter-in-law and my um, nephew so this is great again I've got these card kits over here either they're either a paper pumpkin or um, one of the kits but I have so many cards like almost ready to go. That's a beautiful birthday card for Brittany. So again, I'm gonna tuck them in the pockets for my dad and he is going to be so happy because right now getting to the store, picking a birthday card, finding their address, that used to be my mother's job and my mother has memory care issues. And so, um, memory care issues. Yes, it's an issue. Um, she has memory care problems, memory care. I don't even know how you say it, but um, that's no longer her job and it falls on him. And for the 90 year old old guy, he's on the struggle bus. So I, each one of my team got a calendar because I wanted them to start out the Stampin' Up! year the thing. And they're gonna get to do it any way they want. So I'm gonna show you how it comes so you can see. And again, you've already seen what I'm gonna, what I'm doing with it. But I mean, does it hurt me to have another one? No. This will be. <laughs> I can do this. Shh, he's upstairs. But I can do this for my husband, so he doesn't forget birthdays. Because Mama's the one that does the cards. I'll train him early, so he's not like my dad who hits that struggle bus and has no idea what to do. So it comes all packaged to, together. 
here's my dimensionals and the bling. I've got these card bases and envelopes. So here's the two card bases. I've got, here's the, these are all punch outs that I put on with um, dimensionals, seal, whatever your preference is. Here are all the different languages. I just needed these. So I put this on each month in the book. Started with January because that's the way dad would want it done. And here's a pocket over here for extra cards, which is not a bad idea because somebody's going to pop up in your life that may need an extra one. One of the other things that I did this for, we had a birthday ca calendar. It was like a planner and I had my customers write their birthdays in here. So I can put this out and have my customers write their birthday in here. And then in the pocket, if they'll write their address on the envelope, I'll send them a birthday card for their birthday. I've done that before too, which is really quite fun. So these, I just put on each month. I don't know that you need to see me do every month. But those will just go right in there. And I'll show you how easy the cards are to put together. A nice big piece of cardboard. There's card instructions, which are always good to follow. Not that I ever follow them. So, oh, there's, there's my, my friend, friend Carla. Carla. Good morning, Miss Carla. Um, she, that's a good idea. Thinking of you and get well. I mean, it's always good to have your cards in one spot. But I, yeah, that's a good idea. I like it. Carla and I, she's on my um, aging parent struggle bus. You never, like, you never know what's going to happen. My sister was with my dad last night. Again, the 90-year-old. And he said, I need to get up in the attic and get, and then her head exploded. He lives at a retirement facility. All we have to do is make a phone call and someone will get in his attic and get whatever he thinks he needs. But yeah, he needs to get up there and get something. So we had all hands on deck. <laughs> Either my husband or my son or um, my brother-in-law. Somebody's going to go get that stuff out of the attic so the 90-year-old is not climbing the ladder today. That man, and he's stubborn as a mule. Okay, see, I'm popping out all of these at once. I mean, you can pop them out individually, but you can also line them all up and pop them out at once. It works. And then I, I only need these happy birthdays in here. This, I have to put adhesive on. And then It's Your Day is right up here. And these are adhesive backed too. So sometimes if I'm doing it, I'm just gonna get my kit ready and do it later. I cut out what I need and then trash what I don't. And then if I'm taking this with me somewhere or because sometimes I'll do that. I'll um, take a kit with me um, to my daughter's or I used to when um, we would travel or sometimes I just get the kit ready. So then when I'm watching football, because I'm a huge football fan, I've got it all right there ready to go. And I can do it without thinking, <laughs> which is the best way to create while you're watching football. All right, friends. So I'll show you how to put each card together and then you don't need to see me do the whole thing because that's too much. If I turned the camera and you saw my desk to the right, it's kind of embarrassing because I have so many piles over here. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five kits over here that I wanted to show you the cards that I was going to use in the kits. So I did, I mean, there is a method to the madness, but um, I just reached over for my seal and it's not normally where it is because it's a little bit of everywhere. Okay, 
So if you don't have seal with you, it comes with that roll of tear and tape. I'm gonna use this. I sealed that on. So I took this off and put it through the middle. I don't even know what the instructions say. This is the way I did it with my other ones. Then I used dimensionals on this. And this is how I this is how I did it. And I found out it worked for me. Oh, this is left over from something, obviously. I think that was a paper pumpkin kit. The first Christmas one just shipped. I'm so excited to get my hands on it. Um, I love a good, I love that Halloween one last year or last month. I've got all my little treat boxes ready to go. My neighbors are going to get them. Everybody's going to get a cute little treat box. Okay, so I put this on like this and then I took the It's Your Day and I tucked it under here so I knew I could get it on here because the first one I did I, I'm terrible at looking at the directions I stuck everything I stuck all the leaves on and stuff and then I didn't have any room for It's Your Day because the leaves get tucked under here then you've got a rosebud up here. And you've got another set of leaves over here. And I just put these on with seal. I didn't do it for you guys because you don't need to see me seal. But that's just so cute. Oh, and then there's um, bling. Here's the bling. It is just adhesive back sequins and of course we love that my goal when I get these is to use them all up on the cards when they come with a kit I try to use them all up on the cards and it's so much fun I mean if you get one of my kit cards you will see maybe a little over blinged because I get real happy about it okay so that's card one and I'll show you card two Again, what a great kit. You can go to my Demonstrator Business website if you say, this is, I want this um, birthday book. Um, it's Susan M. Smith at stampinup.net. It's on my Stamp Creatively blog. You can find me all kinds of places. If you ever want to be on my email, Susan at Steam Creatively, and you can email me. Yes, Teresa, there's no such thing as over blinging. You know what? I hit those flowers with the Wink of Stella, too, and it was beautiful. So this card, you put this on. These can definitely be the boy cards in the kit, because then you're just doing this, and you're done. I mean, how hard is that? These you can bling or not bling. It depends on whether it's a boy or a girl. Mine are all going to get addressed, so I'm super excited about it. I mean, is this not just the cutest? And simple. Again, for my dad, it's going to be perfect. He doesn't need fancy cards. He just needs them addressed with a stamp so he can get them in the mail. And then it's done. I may put a greeting in there. I, I mean, I may have a few um, happy birthday greetings that I can put on the inside. Because he does like to put words on it. And his handwriting, he's having a hard time with his hands. So his handwriting is not always what it used to be. But that's not, I mean, that's okay. All right, friends, let me show you the book again. It's a great book. Please, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If it's your birthday, let me know and I'll send you a birthday card. I have a bunch of them over here to the side in all of my boxes. I could take a camera off and show you my piles, but, um, well, I'll be brave. Okay, I won't make you vomit, I promise. Are you ready? Here's my mess. Watch. Oh, this is what I'll do. Oh no, you're fine. So, see all that over there? See all those boxes? <laughs> see that mess? That's my mess this morning. I'll be cleaning it up. I could have switched cameras before I did that, but you're fine. It was just real quick. 
Okay, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day. It, again, get out and enjoy fall if you're a place where you can enjoy fall because it's just beautiful. This is my favorite time of year. I love the crunch of the leaves. I walk on my sidewalk and there's nuts that I step on that crunch. The squirrels. I have mean squirrels in the work in my woods. They come out and they go, look, here she comes. Bing, bing. And I get pelted with nuts. We were on the sidewalk the other day. I was walking some people out who had been here and there were nuts that fell. And I swear we could hear the squirrels laughing ahead of, uh, over our heads. I'm not joking. They're mean. Um, I've got one out here in my bird feeder right now that I'm about to let my dog out and he's gonna talk to the squirrel about being in my bird feeder. All right, friends, cheers. Have a great day. Um, again, let me know if it's your birthday. I'll send you a birthday card. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, let me switch this so you can see my cards while I switch this off so you don't, I don't have a weird face.